Hello everyone. Welcome back to the nursery. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Vicki. And this is a baby I've been working on for quite some time, guys. With this little girl and I have had some kind of a journey. Uh, this is a baby that I am doing, or have done, I'm not doing, I have done her for a customer. And this is the Bountiful Baby, four months, Sage. Um, they, have, they have three or four different ones, guys. This is the pouty one, and it's so cute. I'm going to move this paint palette so I don't get no paint on that baby. I'm going to bring her up a little closer if I can so you guys can see her. But anyway, she's finally finished. Guys, this baby turned out so pretty. She's a big old girl, guys. I don't have her weight right now, but uh, oh my gosh, she's just she's just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. But anyway, uh, I finally got her done, and I'll tell you her journey, what we've had. It's taken me quite some time. First off, I want to say thank you to her mama, Arlene Chardon. Arlene uh, has waited a long time for this baby, guys. Because I've had so many ups and downs with her. Um, uh, it all came down to when I was working on her, my husband got really sick. Um, of course, you know, I've got I've got other ones that I'm working on. So I have to, I do them in order as I get them. And then it throwed me behind. It's really bad because my husband got sick. He, he had the heart, you know, the congestive heart failure. Last year, in 2023, we were in the hospital seven different times sometimes it was four days sometimes it was six days sometimes seven days but seven times all together in 2023 and uh in three different hospitals so we've had a really rough go um he's been really sick guys and um he's had that congestive heart failure it, it's made him so he's just super tired um he can't do much of anything he he uh can't breathe good a lot of times but um he gains fluid his um the ejection fraction which is the part of the heart that uh squeezes out the blood you know the top part takes the blood in the bottom chambers squeeze it a lot of people think it pumps but it actually it squeezes this way they explain it to me the blood out into the body and uh, his was only working, I think they said 20, 25%. At one time, I think it was even lower than that. And um, so we've tried everything, guys. We've had, oh, God, multiple things done. He's had, uh, he's on, he's on like 15 different medications for this. Um, he is also um, had a defibrillator put in. It's a, it's a defibrillator slash pacemaker. It was something going on was wrong with it. Uh, after he had it put in, it's, got, it's caused a lot of the trouble, and uh, it, it's the uh, the part the part of the heart that I, so I don't know exactly how to explain it, guys. But anyway, it was sending false signals to the body, and in and the, to the defibrillator was getting it. You know, it was tricking it. In other words, I'm sorry, I'm not explaining this very well, but it's just hard to understand anyway. But uh, so it it was going off and shocking him and see he shouldn't have like if when the defibrillator worked in other words he shouldn't have known anything about it guys uh in other words he should have been like you know what i'm saying gone and then the defibrillator would shock the heart back and get the heart started again try to get the heart started again and if it didn't work then of course it'd shock again that's what it does and um uh, but it was doing it and him actually still here with us you know, awake and all that stuff and knew what was going on. He could feel it. It was horrible. It was very horrible. Scary. Uh, there was one time that he was in there. I had to rush him to the emergency room. And uh, the uh, ambulance had to fly him out to a bigger hospital. And um, in Atlanta, we had to go to Atlanta, Georgia. We'd been there several times. Um, and they had to go in. And what they'd done what they call an ablation of the something other node it's n-o-d-e and what it is it gets rid of that whatever that is it was tricking the defibrillator into shocking him uh, but yeah but that's the only way they got to stop but that was a lot of problem we had a lot of problem at first with that but finally got that under control but right now he's still gaining fluid ever so often he, he gains fluid it's just his heart's not pumping enough 
to um, keep the fluid pumped out. So he's having a bad time with that right now, and it, it causes him to uh, to retain fluid. And where he retains it at, the worst place he could retain it at is not in his legs and feet, like most people get it in their feet, their ankles, their legs. He gets it right in his tummy. He will, his stomach will get so big, guys. He'll actually look like like a pregnant woman tummy, you know, like a pregnant woman would look. And it puts pressure up on the heart and up on the lungs. And when it does that, then it causes him to have real bad heart pains because it's pushing against the heart and and all that. And uh, also uh, the lungs, and he can't breathe good. So that's what we're having a problem with now. So guys. <sighs> So to this is just a long story and I'm sorry to go on and on about it about doing this little girl but I just wanted to explain to everybody what's been going on here I don't do many videos these days because of all this guys I just can't and um, I'm not making many babies I do one here and there when I can but that's about it and uh, I tell the people you know you've got to be very very patient because I don't know when I'll get it through you know it, it might take me a year I, I have no idea but um the mama of this baby, I do want to tell her, though, I thank you so much for being so patient. She's been so patient with me. But anyway, I did want, before I get off track and get on something else, I wanted to say, uh, the 15th and the 16th of February, we have to go back to Atlanta for two days. Uh, we're just going to get a motel room and stay there overnight because we have to be there two mornings, you know, and it's, it, it's a good drive from our home. And uh, so that way we don't have to drive down there, you know, like one day and come home. It, it's it's a long trip. Um, so um, we're just going to stay overnight for the two days. Anyway, they're going to do evaluation. And when they get that done, do an evaluation, which is to make sure his body is able to withstand it. There's no infections in his body. You know, we don't have no, like no cancers or nothing like that. And um, if everything checks out okay. Uh, and whenever it does, they then will schedule us for he's going to have to have a heart pump put in. I don't like to think about it. It's very dangerous. It's open heart surgery. And um, it's not going to be easy for him. He's going to have to really be in good shape when he goes in for it. And God, I know it has to be scary because it's scary to me. And it's not even me that I'm going to. You know, I'm not even one has to have it done. But anyway, anybody that would out there and pray, that prays, I, I would appreciate it if y'all will send your prayers our way because this year we are going to have to go in and have the heart pump. They said at that time we were probably at the least, and that's if everything goes good, we'll be in there from three, two to three weeks. Some say four, uh, and it could even take longer than that in that hospital down there. And then when we come home, it's going to be a long recovery. So, everybody that will just give, keep us in mind. Anyway, that was one problem I had with this baby. The reason I couldn't get her done. Well, I finally got her done. We got home. Everything got to going kind of good. Well, I did have a little bit of work time and here and there. And I finally got her finished. Well, when I was uh, putting her together or starting to put her together, I noticed she had a little place right here on her chin. Well, actually, it was right over here on this side, right there. And um, I noticed it had, you know, on her little chin. And um, I was just getting ready to do the video and then pack her out to send her out to her mama. And I noticed that little spot. Well, then when I had kind of done like this, and when I did, it, it like peeled a big round spot there. It peeled. And I can tell you what happened. I'll tell you that in a minute. Uh, a big round spot. And then I go like this. And the more I done that, I mean, it would just peel off in big sections. I mean, her whole head was peeling off. And when it did, it would take every bit of the paint. Not just that last layer, but the whole paint. It just like it had never been painted on the head. What happened was, is I was I used, you know, as you all know, uh, Genesis heat set paints just went out. And you can't hardly get that matte varnish anymore. Well, I had another mat that I put on her which was an air dry mat I had checked into it and a lot of people would give it good reviews and all this stuff you know and all that and it was holding up good and all that well it didn't do so good not on this baby anyway it caused her to peel I looked at the legs and the arms and all that none of that was peeling it was just her head and uh, so I messaged mama 
and I told her, give me another little bit of time if you would. I'm so sorry. I really, I'm, I feel so bad. <laughs> Bless her heart. She'd waited so long for this baby. God, guys, I'm talking maybe, God, I don't even know, six, eight months for this baby. And, um, the way it went for me. And, um, so I said, just give me a little bit longer. If you could give me another couple of weeks, you know, a week, two weeks or whatever. I promise you I'll work as much as on her as I can. And I will get her to you just as fast as I can. So she says, okay, you know, I mean, my goodness, why not? She's waited that long, right? Why not wait another two weeks? But, um, I know she's very disappointed and I was too. But, um. There was nothing else I could do. I wasn't about to send a baby out that's going to peel off on her after she paid for her. You know, I ain't going to do that. I'm not that kind of person, guys. I could have uh, I could have just repaired her head and sent her on like she was, but I wouldn't do it. So uh, I told her what went on, and I did go ahead, and I didn't see anything on the legs or the feet or, in, or the arms that was peeling. But I was afraid after she got to her, she would later on start peeling. So I just stripped the whole baby, the head, the arms, the legs. I stripped it all. Took me a little bit longer, but I did strip the whole thing, repainted the whole baby. Because I was afraid that if I didn't, I had the same matte uh, sealer, air dry sealer on her legs and arms. And I thought, well, maybe later on, she gets home, she might, her legs and stuff might start peeling. And I'm not going to do that. I'm not a person to, I wouldn't want it done to me. And I'm not a person that's going to do it to anybody else. So, I've done what I had to do. It was tedious. It was disappointing. It was, uh, I was so happy to get the baby to her because she'd waited so long. And then that happened. It was, I was kind of a little bit devastated. But, I said, okay, you just strip her, get it over with, strip her, repaint her, and be done with it. And that's what I've done. So, here I am with her. And she is ready to go home to her mama. And she turned out beautiful, guys. I'm going to bring her up so Mama can see her. Now, guys, my camera that I've got here, it's not a very good camera. Um, I've got my other camera still, which done great videos. I just got a new camera, and the camera on this one is not half as good as the camera on my other one. And it kind of washes the color out. She's beautiful. Take my word for it. She turned out great. But anyway, I want everybody to see her. And especially her Mama. She's waited so long for this baby. I'm so happy to get her to her. Look at that beautiful little pouty face. Isn't she sweet? Oh, she weighs a good, I would say, six pounds, five, five pounds, six pounds. I haven't got her weight yet, but anyway, uh, I'm going to ask Mama if she wants me to put this baby up so she can see her now or wait till she gets her. She's going to go a long trip, guys. It'll take her a little while to get to Mama, but... We're going to wish her well on her travels. I hope to goodness she makes it safe, all the trouble we've had. But, um, yeah, she's got big old legs. She's got big old arms. She's, you know, got that beautiful big old body on her. It's the doe suede body. Uh, she has been painted by me and sealed. And uh, then she's got the pouty lips, and I gloss those, and the fingernails and the toenails. And she's going to go home in this vintage. I bought this vintage dress. And uh, it is a vintage dress, guys. I got it off eBay, but it still has the tags on it. So, it's so pretty. Look at this. There's the little bloomers, they call them. And then here's the little dress. And the reason I got this was... Okay, just got some... Let me get that off. It's got like a little bit of... Um, I don't know what you'd call that. on Fuzz. Anyhow, uh, it has the tag still on it. And as I said, you can't see it very well in my camera. I, I hope when she does her box opening, hopefully she'll do a video of it. And it'll be more and look better, you know, than this. But anyway, this is what she's going to go home in. And the price I've done her at, guys, I'm not going to... That don't include a, um, a box opening, of course. But uh, this she will go home in this cute little vintage dress. And she's going to have socks on, which, where are they? Huh, I'm having not laid them over here with this. I thought I did. Maybe not. Anyway, she'll have little socks on in there. Oh, here they are. they got little ruffled -y. And they've got like little pink sh uh, shiny hearts on them. She'll have that. I'm also going to put this cute little headband on her, which is more like one of those, what do they call that? That, mm, I can't even think what they call it. It's like wider, you know. She's going to go home with that on. And we'll, 
on a little bald head. Mama didn't want her rooted because I just can't do any rooting right now for sure. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to try this on her and see how it works. I hope it looks good. If not, I can always, you know, do something. Nah, it's going to look cute. On her. Look at that. Isn't that not adorable? Very sweet. So this is what baby girl's going to go home to her mama in. I will try to include her another little outfit probably. Well, I have got something picked out for her. I'm going to send home with her. But that's what she's going to look like going home, guys. So I just wanted to show her. She, I also have this blanket here I'm going to be wrapping her up in. And then I've got a little gift for her. And uh, anybody that wants to follow her, guys, um, and see the box opening, uh, the mama's name is Arlene. Chardon, that's her YouTube name, and I want everybody that will go over to her channel and show her some love and, um, you know, do all that and, you know, uh, see her open the baby and see her reaction and see what she thinks of her. Guys, she's also got some other pretty babies. She ordered another one for me. She does have uh, the sister to this one, and it is the Playful Sage, I think. I believe it's the playful sage, and uh, she I done it for her too. She, but she has all kinds of other beautiful babies, guys. Go over and check her out. You'll like her. Very sweet lady, and so very nice, and so very kind, and so patient. So check her out if you will. And um, her eyebrows. I was looking at those. They turned out so beautiful on her. I, you know, it, sometimes you do the eyebrows, and sometimes they don't look so great, and other times they just look gorgeous. And these are pretty, the way I've done her eyelashes on, I mean, eyebrows. And, of course, she has the rooted eyelashes. Um, but anyway, she's going to be going home. And, again, I want to say thank you to Mama. I really appreciate it, guys. I really do. Uh, her being so patient to me and helping me out money-wise. We sure, you know, we sure can use it because it's costing us so much on these hospital bills and then I stay with my husband and it costs us a lot for me just, just to stay there um you know food all that stuff and uh so yeah it, it helped us out a lot and she was so patient so Arlene thank you again I sure appreciate you you're just a wonderful person you really are and on top of that now she has that one but I'm going to get this one ready after this and she's almost ready I wanted to show you her but I'm going to give her some paint in her. This girl's going. This is the four-month stage, but this is the happy four-month stage. So this one's pouty. I think it's pouting, pouting, pouty sage. I think that's the name. I'm not real sure. Anyway, I've got her certificate. And then she's got the other one, which is playful. And then this is the happy sage. And uh, then there's one more. It's a sleeping sage, and I've not done it, but. This one's going to be for sale if anybody's interested. I am going to make a good deal on her because I need the sale. We're trying to get the money up to, you know, this three or four week thing we're going to have to do down there. And so I will do a good, I'm doing a good uh, sale on her. Um, I normally get, for the this big baby, bald baby painting and put together and all that, I get usually 400 plus shipping. And, uh, but... Since we're needing a quick sell on this one, I'm going to ask $350 on this one, plus shipping. So I'm knocking off $50 on this one. I do have her certificate. She's not a second kit. And uh, anybody that's interested in her, you just let me know. I am going to do painted hair on her. So if anybody wants her, let me know. Also, this baby's up next. Look at this one. If I get time to paint it, oh my gosh, he is so beautiful. He's my baby, guys. Uh, my husband bought me the kit for my Christmas gift. So I haven't got it painted yet. But later on, you just can follow this one. If I start doing it, I'll try to put up videos as I can. But yeah, guys, um, this is for Arlene Chardon. So just wanted to make a video and let you see her. I'm not sure if Mama will want me to go ahead and put the video up. Or wait till she gets her home and then put the video up. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, uh, I'll see you as soon as I can, guys, in another day. I uh, hope everybody is doing good. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for stopping by. And, yeah, much love to you all. And I'll see you again uh, just as soon as possible. And thanks again. 
Much love to y'all. See you later. Bye-bye.